Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an aluminum twin flame from Chicago. And I've just gotten through a series of videos talking about the emerging chakras of your brand new twin flame angelic body. What I want to talk to you about today is a subject that's going to be a little painful for some people, but I think it's necessary that we start to really open this up and find out what what can we do because you're encouraged by everything you're hearing to take some action and bring it into the physical how do you do that so that's what i'm going to talk about twin flames divorce and your divine marriage now the 3d marriage as it's defined in the old paradigm which we as twin flames have left the old paradigm so that's important to note because those marriages were used for the furthering of genetics, the bridging of spiritual lineage, and they've been supported through religious, political, and governmental legal structures. Well, it's not to say that there wasn't love there. This is part of our soul's divine plan to accomplish some things and to clear the lineage. Frequently, the children who have been born in these marriages are also bridges for the spiritual lineages and uh, not only cleaning and clearing out old damage from ethnic pain bodies, uh, different lineages, um, different uh, areas, or even as we've seen going out to the cosmic and universal levels really old damage that is now being uh, cleared and clean because it can. So a lot of the children that have uh, been a part of the furthering of the genetics and part of these marriages, um, this is all being done with love, but we're leaving it. Why? Because marriages, we've defined it as fallen into distortion, a misuse of power. It's been used for the creation of designated heirs. Uh, it's gotten it corrupted. There's people that marry for convenience, for uh, financial reasons, for chattel reasons, just to own things. Uh, some of it's really medieval when you start to really see what's behind certain people's marriages. Marriages of convenience to hide something, to hide sexuality, to hide um, immigration issues. Uh, this has happened uh, very frequently here in the United States and I know in other places. Arranged marriage. So we're, we're moving away from some of the old stuff. Why? Because it no longer has a leg to stand on anyway. And we're getting to our divine marriage. <clears throat> Along with this, while in the marriage, people have sustained extensive sexual abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse, spiritual abuse, of all kinds, um, who have been the people we married. It has been soulmates either from the same soul group or from other soul group lineages for purposes of healing. So some people actually do marry someone from another soul group and they're bridging that soul group, usually producing a child. There are twin flames and some of you are seeing this in the public's eye who have been married and break up. And a lot of times the breakup is very painful. A lot of times the twin themselves doesn't know why they broke up or why they're seeking a divorce. And um, there's a lot of public figures, actors, a lot of people in Hollywood. They're not always a twin flame, but the twins that break up are usually the ones that say, we still love each other. We just, we need some space or we need to figure some things out. What they're actually doing is breaking the old marriage, old vows and old outworn ideas of what is marriage, what defines it, and not letting them define it. You, you can't contain your soul into a marriage that, you know, is defined by uh, some, you know, old belief. So that's what you're seeing break up. Now, as these things keep moving, you will feel old and hidden things that either you or your spouse and or your twin are detoxing to get to the next level. You're purging things that don't make you feel good. And a lot of you are feeling it regardless. 
So during this 3D transit, I have another little thing here to talk about. You're transiting out of 3D, and I'm, I'm over here with this. Let me hold it like this. You're transiting out of 3D, and let's line that up right. What do you feel? Sometimes you'll feel the subversive activities of your twin. Hidden things will come out. Things where your twin has been stuck in the lower uh, chakras and lower sexual energy. Sometimes as you are moving into your new union, you will feel bleed through from parallel lives. And these are things when you start to see yourself in situations and you're like, well, that's not my twin or that's not what I really want. And you collapse it. You're there to collapse it and pull yourself here. So don't focus too much on that and don't let it disturb you uh, too much. Know what it is. Really feel that with your heart. Why am I seeing these faces? Why am I with this person? Why am I in this situation? Uh, because you're actually unplugging yourself from all other places to be here fully and bring your full conscious self here to do this. There is also such a thing as the false, you know, I'm going to do this. Ugh. There we go. That'll make it a little less confusing. Okay. I hope you can see that. Let's make sure you can see it. Okay. What, what you also have is sometimes you or your twin has either a false twin energy attachment or a negative dark energy. And this frequently comes through a soulmate, even though the relationship would be expired. And it's defined by as something that is literally sucking the life out of your union. It is an energetic attachment. It's parasitic. And sometimes it feels like pain on your spleen or pain on your pancreas. Um, pain or discomfort or inappropriate sexual feelings in your sacred sexual area uh, triggered by certain things or people. Uh, it could be seductive behaviors. It could be your twin actively putting themselves into situation because they're stuck in these lower chakras. And, and your joint sexual energy is stuck here. What do you do about that? You have to be the master of your own sexual energy. And we're going to get to that in a little bit uh, during my video here. But um, what are some of the energies that do affect people? Uh, if your twin drinks, it could be alcohol, drugs, it could be prostitution that they engage in, group sex, pornography. It could be any number of old things. It could be um, there's just a myriad of things. We don't want to focus on that here. The focus of my video is how do we clear this out and really get people to reunite together? How do you feel good about it? And that is actually something that I'll be getting to uh, in a short while. Now, what else um, do you have that we're going to talk about here? Now, let's talk about the positive side of this. Where are we going with this? Well, your fifth dimensional new sacred union is with your divine counterpart. And that person is here to reunite your magnificent soul together. You're here to reunite your soul. Not just be with a soulmate because you're from the same soul group. And believe me, you'll be feeling people and they'll be feeling you. And it can be confusing. Some of the attention can be confusing as people begin feeling the love of your union blasting out through your heart. They may feel attracted to you. They may flirt with you. They may, uh, it may be unwanted attention. It, it may be flattering. But you still have to be the master of your own sexual energy. You are holding the 5D template for a 5D life in this body at a fourth dimensional level. So you have all the potentials here. Everything's been cleared out of your way so that you could do this and do it with your twin. Because in duality, your relationships were stepping stones to help you clear so you could be with your twin. Your soul is on a schedule. Your soul is on a schedule. 
And even though it might not fit in your schedule, because you'll say, well, I still have to do this, I have to do that, your soul isn't going to wrap it around your 3D life. Your soul's like, forget about it. I have a brand new life that we're creating, and you've got you've got to pl get yourself back together because we're going to blast this whole place wide open and create all new stuff and a new endeavor for you and the passion of your heart and the return of your one true love. So your soul is alive here and it is ready to be fully embodied. Your 5D template of love is ready to take you to the next level of light and love. And you each have a body that is holding the other part of your soul. So you have two bodies, one soul. There are no multiple twin flames. Uh, that's something that bleeds through from parallel lives or sometimes a twin is engaging with too many soulmates. Because as your, as your soul family comes together, you feel people. Don't be confused with a soulmate and a twin flame. There is only one other half of your soul. Okay, now we're going to talk next about some of the questions that people have given me. And some of this can be very painful because if you're in a marriage or a relationship, whether it's committed or not, you need to ask yourself and really do a balance sheet for yourself. You know, besides your physical assets and, you know, debts or liabilities, what are you really doing in that marriage or relationship? You know, do you have credit card debt with these people? Do you have a car loan? Do you have other kinds of debts? Do you feel obligated to them? Do you feel like, you know, you owe them something or you'll pull the rug out from under them? A lot of this is old and it's egoic. And you have to understand that you had, yes, you had a spiritual agreement. But for a lot of people, those agreements are concluded and ended. Um, do you feel like you're walking on eggs in the house? Are you confused? Do you suffer from depression or are they depressed? Do they drink? Do they drug? Do they try to escape? Do you try to escape? Uh, you know, do you feel you'll be ostracized? Are you feeling negativity? Are you feeling lonely? But then on the plus side, what if you go? What if you do something? What if you do have new friends? What if you have health? What if you have peace? What if you have safety, clarity? And what if you're alone but you don't feel lonely? And these are the things that it's important to really put it in perspective and really figure out for yourself, you know, what am I doing staying in this situation? Because your soul knows and your soul's trying to move you and your soul will start closing doors, pulling out the rug, Everything to kind of narrow it down so that there really is only one direction. Now, what I'm going to let me set this up because a lot of people ask this question here. You know, they'll have a twin who maybe, you know, based on their upbringing or their culture or something like that, is really coming from old patterns, old habits, old behaviors. And they will sometimes check on you, keep surveillance, think that they have to have you under their thumb, that they own you. All of those energies are going. And I will tell you that if you're feeling intimidation, violence, aggression, mental abuse, threats, are they a tyrant? Do they want to control everything? Do they not want you to see family or friends? Uh, do they act like a playboy or a party girl? Uh, are the energies of seduction, you know, trying to get you in your sexual thrall? Um, are they promiscuous? Do they misuse their sexual energy? You know, uh, I've had several people, this didn't happen to me personally, but their twin went out and wound up getting someone else pregnant, and now there's a child brought into this. Why? Because there's a lot of entities coming in here to receive the new templating, and some people take you know, it's it, they're coming in not in the sanctity of a, a loving 5D reunion. They're coming in on, you know, wherever they can ride in and incarnate here to receive. So 
that's uh, maybe a new concept for people on a way to look at children, but the unwanted children absolutely do have a, an agreement to be here. And somebody wants them, somebody loves them, and they will be found by the right people, and they will be cared for and nurtured because we're making sure of it. We're making sure of it. This place hasn't been safe. There hasn't been structures to support angelics to feel safe. There have not been resources, and that's all changing, and that's part of the delay because if you're going to come in and if you are going to be with your twin and you need to break away from all things, there needed to be something in place. There needed to be a sense of safety and stability. Uh, you know, on the flip side, is the person aggressive? Are they a victim? Are they a daddy's girl or a mama's boy? Um, do they go around with a broken heart all the time? Are they an ice princess or, you know, superhero? Or are they an enabler? You know, your twin could have some of these behaviors and patterns. If you're physically with your twin and you can talk to them and, and it upsets them and they want to do something, encourage them not only to get help in the physical, but metaphysically, which means to clear your energy body. That is only a part of what I do, and I do that as a transmuter, and I also do, do that in guided sessions, to metaphysically clear out all of your bodies, all the way, and um, to redirect your energy so that you are clean and clear, and you can Simply focus on getting rid of these behaviors, which will be easier and easier. The energetics are here to support you. The, atmos the planetary atmosphere has been cleared sufficiently for you to keep dipping your toe in and keep trying. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. If you can talk to your twin, draw attention to it in your union. And things, yes, they'll naturally pop out. Things are going to trigger you so you can get out. Your twin might come home and be like, oh, you know, does, there was all these people road raging and someone took my parking space and I'm, I just, oh, I want to punch somebody. Well, you got to make sure they're not going to punch you. If at any time you are concerned for your physical safety, whether sexually, physically, emotionally, and mentally and spiritually, leave. Make space. Get away. The universe will keep working on them. Your higher self will keep working on your twin. Whether it's male, female, gay, straight, heterosexual, transgender, um, there are many angelics who are defined in this life uh, not just by being angelic. We, nobody's really calling themselves an angelic. But we come from these different lineages, and yes, some people are holding double masculine, divine masculine energy with feminine within there. That they uh, are in their loving union or intended to be in their loving union. A lot of people that have these uh, behaviors and habits come up between them can't stay together. Uh, I will say right here, for many of you Illumin Twins and you've been wondering why all the delays, why is this taking so long, why isn't my twin with me? You wouldn't want to do this with them. So even their twins are all over the, the map because some are doing it with their twin. Some have done it before meeting their twin. Some have done the majority of it without their twin, and now they can come together, and they're just kind of tweaking and working together to get rid of things. You have to let it pop out. Dad is actually letting it go. Get it up and out. And then you redirect them. You guide your twin. You get actual physical help. Do they need a group? Do they need some therapy? Do they need a treatment for something? Do they need to actively let go of something? And um, it could be people, places, things, substances. Okay, don't engage it yourself. You're not here to be their punching bag, their doormat, uh, any other type of, you don't roll over and play dead on them. You have to really meet, you know, do this from another level and, and wish for them to get better, do the things that you can do, clear your energetic bodies, and then, yes, trust and come back to them because this is the time now where we are healing things that people either have, um, 
mental illnesses and or what people call spiritual diseases, things like uh, drug addictions, alcoholism. Twins can only heal this together. So it's important that if they've had the uh, escapism where they want to drink drug, uh, carouse, you know, go do things, join things that aren't healthy, um, that it's leaving them. And you can actively participate not just with them, but participate. You're the only one holding your twin's energy within your body. So that means that you have the ability to move some of this stuff for both of you. And that's huge. So you wouldn't want that to come up in, you know, things do come up. People do cry when they're making love and things will come up. But you don't want it to be a deal breaker. You don't want that person to say, oh my God, you're just getting hysterical. Or you just clam up every time you close me off. More and more, that is not going to happen. Everything's getting wide open and it, it's out there now. Now, this is the last thing I'm going to talk about. It's a lot of ground to cover here. How do you take action? How do you actually do something? You listen to a lot of astrological horoscopes or you tell, hear people. You feel the pressure because the universe is pressing us. Those cardinal cross energies are yanking you out to the four corners. That's the cardinal, the four cardinal points. Strong feminine with underlying masculine energies pushing and pulling things off and out of you and to push you into a place of real love and where the potential for your fullness of being your creativity um your um merge back into oneness is not only possible but it is definitely occurring in this lifetime okay there are a few things to know because People are at um, different, I would, I hate to say stages, but people are uh, just becoming aware sometimes. And there's people that have been aware for 30 years, 20 years. They know who their twin is. They're waiting. They feel like they're waiting in perpetuity. You're not waiting in perpetuity. What you've been waiting for is this is a huge orchestration. And we've needed certain things to be removed. And we've needed certain things to fall into place. You know, get all these bundles of stuff out, you know, and, and you see this played out on the world stage, but you are actually the microcosm of the macrocosm. And what here, what happens here doesn't stay here. We ripple this out to the entire universe because that is who we are. We are source love. So in order to take action and actually clear your energetic angelic body, you must be, and I hear that a lot, be the love, be who you came here to be. And it sounds really fluffy and you're like, what does this mean? Just tell me. What this means is you've worked on yourself and not everyone has as much soul damage as the other. There's people with a lot of soul damage and who forgot themselves. And there's people that came here without a lot of karma or soul damage. And you'll look at them and you'll say, you know, how come they're having such an easy time? Or they came together and this person's lovely. They make coffee and they don't have a lot of the contention that, that I seem to have with my twin. Everybody's different. Everyone's unique. Uh, in many ways, the converse is true out in the universe. The people with the most damage are actually not necessarily applauded because at some point it becomes amazing. Like, wow, why would you keep doing that? But um, you're considered some of the most brave and courageous, strongest angels. You've had your heart broken and smashed and wounds and things taken from you. And here you are. You're still standing. You're wounded. You're like the walking wounded. You're coming in. You're limping in here. And you're ready to merge your soul back together. That's love. That's love. Now, just because your twin doesn't remember and your twin's like, oh, well, you know, I think I want to go do this or do that. And they're distracting themselves. It only means they don't remember. What I'm going to tell you is 
wish for them to have a remembrance of a really happy time with the two of you because I guarantee you that will make a world of difference while they're going through this process. It is a process. You can't just flip a switch. That's just the way it is. I did ask one time, I said, why don't we just flip a switch, ascend the planet, and get out of here? It's not happening that way. It's happening so that you actively get rid of things and you have a knowledge. This is, this is absolutely important knowledge of how not to separate again, how not to fall out of love, how not to you know, get to the point of non-love, to how to stay in love. And it is also happening this way because you are adjusting yourself so that you can live here and transition. So not only can you be someone that goes all the way to source, you can be someone who can live here happily and, you know, not engage in old stuff. Now, you must have have emerged enough of your body to and become the angelic you are. That's what that means. Now, what is number two? You will be, meaning you're speaking this, I will be, I will become, and I will be one, and I will be with my twin. You are expected, or you're already with your twin physically. It's not to say that you've done the full sacred sexual merge. It's, it's not time for that yet. Right now is the time for getting everyone re-familiar with their body, get the last of the clearing out, get you lined up, get you into your geographic points, and um, really be ready to go. Really want it. Really, you know, and a lot of you have this feeling like, I could just, I wish I could flap my wings and get out of here. You feel so excited because you're feeling the urgency and the excitement of it. Hold that because... It's going to happen. You're getting lined up to do it. Okay. Number three, you are and have taken many steps to clear your body. And that means your physical body and all of the energetic bodies that you possibly can. Some of it you haven't been able to until now. So there's the last part of your body, which is your universal causal body. And that is... That's your body out at the edges of the universe. This is where we left source in our oneness and we began to separate. We began to separate from our twin and that's when we first experienced duality. You know, hot, cold, uh, opposites. But sometimes very, that's at the edge of very subtle opposites. And that's the subtleties we're in now. Uh, irritated people, snide comments. Sometimes the person that's next to you and they're just breathing and you want to scream. This is the stuff we're getting rid of that actually has hurt uh, right after our first separation. Because when you're separate, when you're not one anymore and you're separate, you can't feel the love in the same way. So yeah, a lot of little things will upset you or irritate you and it takes balancing to trust that you're going to be in your oneness. And it takes practicing being in your oneness together. We're going to get to that. You are and you have taken many steps to clear your body, your home, your space, your, all your spaces, including your workspace, you know, clean and clear, uh, avoid the gossip and things like that, to be with your twin. Now, this is really huge. You have also become celibate in the physical sense. This is a hard one for married people because married people sometimes feel like they should have sex with their partner or sometimes you want to. Sometimes the feelings for us twins are that we're so starving for touch and affection. Sometimes people do have sex, but what you're actually doing, if you've taken so much time to clean and clear, you're re-embedding those unwanted sexual energies with someone. A lot of times it's anonymous, what I call anonymous sex. It's, there's no eye contact. Um, it might be with the person behind you or the person down here at, at your sacred sexual area, your private area, and you're making no eye contact. There's no heart involved. There's no eye contact. Some people rationalize this by saying, 
well, it was just sex or it was not. For twin flames, there is no such thing anymore as just sex. It is all energetic and it can re-embed in your body. And I don't just mean, you know, fluids or diseases. I do mean energetically, if you keep re-engaging, you have to clear. So if you've remained celibate in the physical sense, but you've only used your own sacred sexual energies to create your own orgasm, you and your twin, and your twin is always within you, then you would be um, the very last thing that you should do in order to detach from the old. In other words, you're detaching and clearing your lower, lower, uh, so th your lower three chakras for the most part. You are clearing. That doesn't mean they're gone. It just if they still exist, but they're just clean and clear. And you're detaching and you're grounding in your new. So that actually is the subject of quite a few of the sessions that I do with people is, you know, uh, clearing and grounding in the new. And there's a way to do that, which I will cover going up. Again, this has been strictly about talking about divorce, breakup, and being in your new. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, be strong in the changes that are coming because it, it is to shift us into a completely, completely new level of love. Thank you. Bye now.